For a start in one of the big events, the Open Men's Beach Sprint Championship. There's the man they call KP. A couple of outstanding sprinters in here. The defending champion is Jordan Caldo. Tom Nolan finished second last year. Cody Harmon, the man from New Zealand. A very fit, fast-looking man. Youngest New Zealand sprint champion in history of surf lifesaving. But there's Jordan. Big tickets on this young guy. He's only 18 years of age. He's got a Jamaican dad and an Aussie mum. OK, getting ready for a start. That was Michael Beltrame, the man from Anglesey. And this is the start list. Kemba, Miss Bullhorn. Not the best name to have in a sprint, that one, Nick. Thomas <laughs> Nolan, PK. Cody Harmon, Jake Lynch, Caldo and Michael Beltrame. Well, the start is all important. 80 metres of running. They'll be really set and ready to go. They've dug their holes. Have a look. Each of them fixing their own position to their liking. Miss Bullhorn in orange in the middle. Next to him is Cody Harmony in white. Set for a start and looked like a good start by Miss Bullhorn, the big man in orange, moving up the side out wide. Here's Coldo in yellow coming through the middle now. Harmon in white. Cody Harmon, tight finish, very tight finish. Nicole couldn't split Harmon or Caldo. What do you think? Well, they were a world in front of the other two. Actually, he won it, did he? Wow, I don't know he if they're going to be able to split goal. them. There was nothing in it. Angle was maybe a little bit deceptive. The angle made it look as though Harmon was in front. Let's take a look at it again. You're looking at the yellow and the white. That is Harmon in the white and Jordan oh. Caldo, the defending champion. <laughs> good luck to the officials. <laughs> the boys are going to have a discussion. <laughs> oh, good luck. Well, they're going by what they've seen. The officials are online with the finish. There is the defending champion, Jordan Caldo. He's also the under-19 champion, the man from Grange. Run 100 metres in 10.86 last year, so he's focusing on the track as well, is Jordan Caldo. I oh, can't see how they're going <laughs> to split that, Nicole. But even second place and third place. Two dead heats, Nicole. We're hearing from the officials, so it sounds like second and third was pretty tight. The dead heat indeed, Nicole. Cody Harmon, Jordan Caldo. The officials haven't been able to split them. The man from New Zealand and the man from Grange. And then Thomas Nolan and Benjamin Mispelhorn have also dead heated. What a fantastic result, G. It really shows the class of the two young boys. They are only young. Cody's under 17 last year, so he's just moving up into the senior ranks. And Jordan Caldo, second victory in two years. What a great, outstanding young talent. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. Harmon and Caldo tied for first, and then Nolan and Mispelhorn tied as well. Kemba, Jake Lynch, Wilson and Michael Beltrain. A wonderful finish in the beach sprint final. Cody, great race. Current New Zealand champion. Mate, you're only 17 years of age. You're a young fella. You're now the Australian champion. How's that feel? Oh, it's such a huge relief, you know. I'm, I came over with a bit of a hammy niggle, so I wasn't expecting too much, but... Also, to redeem myself from last year's trip in the 17 is just a really good feeling. So, I'm just, I'm stoked as a... Mate, congratulations. You have come a long way and you've done yourself and your country proud. So, well done, mate. Thanks, Eves. No worries, bro. Good work. Time now for the Open Women's Beach Sprint Race Championship, Nick. Some very, very fit, fast girls, 80 metres. And there is Ellie Graff, the defending champion. And Melissa Howard, who came second last year. You just saw her. Claire Ludus as well, a very, very fine athlete. Laura Shorter there in the Red Cozzies. There's class act in here, but Ellie Graff from the Allura Club that you just saw, she really is the standout. 2011 was her third open beach sprint. She won the first at 15 years of age, Mark Howard. Brie Masters is another one to watch out for. She is a professional dancer, or at least studying contemporary dance in Miranda in New South Wales. She dances four times a week and only runs once a week. Well, We'll soon find out how that's going for it. <laughs> Word is she's gone very well in the lead-up events. There is Claire Lutus, the girl from Anglesey. She's very tall compared to the other girls sprinting here today. Did very well on the beach flags, got through to third. Ellie Graff, the defending champion in the bright fluorescent green. Next to her on the right is Melissa Howard, the beach flags champion. Claire Lutus also did very well on the beach flags. Set though for a start. 80 metres on the sand, away the girls go. Looks like Ludus, the big girl in the middle from Anglesey, is a good start. And beside her, Melissa Howard doing well. Coming up the outside, though, now is Ellie Graff. Bree Masters finishing. It looks like fast. Graff on the line. She's defended her title over 80 metres. The beach sprint. Nick, wow, what a race. Her f fourth title in the sprint. Well done. What a fantastic effort to Ellie Graff from Allura. She is a wonderful sprinter. Couple of the girls struggling, 80 metres on the sand, tough, tough race. 
but in the end, it was Ali Graf. Just to the left of screen, Nick, you can see in the red there, Bree Masters coming home like the proverbial train in second position. But they're all chasing Ellie Graff. And I reckon Melissa Howard, the Beach Flags champion, eight times she's nailed that. I reckon she came in in third position. The officials having a look at it now. Well, it was close, so they'll be discussing what was seen by the eye in finishing over the line. I don't think there's any doubt about the fact Ellie Graff, though, has taken out the 80-metre beach sprint. And you can see it's there, confirmed. Congratulations to Ellie. And Bree Masters in second position. And Melissa Howard in third. What a wonderful race. Hayden on the beach with a winner. Ellie, what a race. That's four from four for you now at the Australian titles. Must be an amazing feeling. Bree's coming up pretty hard on you, one of the younger girls. You've got to watch out. Yeah, you've got to watch out for the younger ones. I was... Once they're in the young age groups and it opens up to look out, so it's good for the young ones to come up. That's it, good for the sport and must be very exciting for you. Four wins at the Australian titles. Are you into the flags next? Um, we've still got flags today, we haven't started as yet, but um, heat's down to finals this afternoon, so it should be a good run. Great work, congratulations. Rest up and uh, we'll see you in the flags. Thank you. No worries. Congratulations to the girl from Yowie Bay, Ellie Graff. She's a sports massage therapist. She'll be looking to get a massage of her own. Congratulations in first position in front of Bree Masters, who came home like a flash. Melissa Howard, she's had a wonderful event. And Trigwell and Tara Hawking round out the top eight. Big day, big card of races still to come. The women's super